Hey, what's up, YouTube? Israel back again with another fragrance view. Uh, today I'm going to do one from the Dior house, and that is none other than Fahrenheit 32. I came across this uh, fragrance at the mall. I was doing some sampling at uh, just one of the uh, stores at the mall. And uh, never actually, a few weeks ago, I, um, up until a few weeks ago, I never actually tried this one. Uh, so I was uh, kind of interested to see um, uh, what it was about. I never even really heard about it either. I, I've heard of Fahrenheit, but not of, um, you know, I know they had some other Fahrenheit flankers. But I wonder why this one was in a white bottle. And I've uh, never really heard too much buzz about it. So anyway, so I uh, sampled it and I actually really liked it. So I decided to... Uh, uh, wear it a little bit longer with with the sample that I had and then I decided to purchase a bottle so let me start by showing you the box here's the box right here it's just a, a silver uh, metallic box that's shiny and has a reflection on it, it just says Fahrenheit 32 uh, out of toilet uh, it's a 3.4 ounce bottle and uh, or box I mean uh, well bottle and so here is the bottle which uh, I think it's a really good looking bottle. It is just reminiscent of the original Fahrenheit. Uh, same bottle shape, same everything, same top. I believe this one's silver, the other one was probably black. Um, but it has like a white snow frosting on top that fades down to a clear uh, yellowish tint down here at the bottom, if you can see. Uh, so, you know, um, you know, not, not a bad bottle, I guess. It's just, it's very, um, very old school from the original Fahrenheit. Um, so Fahrenheit 32 is a uh, considered a fresh oriental woody. It was released in 2007. Uh, the noses behind this scent are uh, Francois de Manchet and Louise Turner. Or, uh, it says Louise, yeah. Not Louis. Um, let's see. The top, we're going to have orange blossom. The mid is vetiver. And the base is vanilla. There's not much going on. Uh, there's only three notes, it says. I mean, I... I read on Fragranica that there is some other stuff. Maybe I read it wrong, but it, they mentioned like iris and some other things going on with it. But it wasn't. I did a little more research, and it pretty much is just orange blossom, which is neroli essence apparently, vetiver and vanilla. So that's very basic. Uh, but if it's just what what's in this is just those three notes, they did a great job of just getting as much as they can from three notes because uh, this is a good scent. I really like it actually. Um, uh, it's different, very confusing. Uh, this is probably one of the most confusing fragrances I own, um, just because you know, with those ingredients and with the presentation and with you know Fahrenheit being a flanker, you just I don't know. You just it's just it's just very confusing. Um, with the smell, okay. Well, the opening it starts off uh, very floral. Uh, and bright, okay. It uh, it's borderline feminine um, because of the florals, um, but it's very cooling as well. Um, the best picture I can describe of this, right when it, right when it starts off, is like um, orange peppermint gum, like chewing gum, um, or bubble gum. So orange peppermint bubble gum, because it's orangey, it's very cool. Um, like mint. There's no mint in this. That's why another reason why it's like I'm saying it's confusing. I'm gonna get to more of that in a minute. But there's there's things that it gives off that's not listed in the notes. So that's that's why it's so confusing. So right off the top, I get orange peppermint bubble gum. Um, not super sweet, I guess. But bubble gum. I've just try, I was trying to you know I was smelling it. and I was trying to really just get a good feel for it. And that's exactly what I thought. So um, you know the bubble gum just gives because it, it has a sweetness to it. Um, the vetiver gives it its um, masculinity. You know it, that's what really makes it and drives it home to be uh, um, a cologne and not a perfume because it's borderline. Some of you guys, if you tried this before, you might agree with me uh, that once you put it on, um, you know you might not like it because you think it's too feminine or whatnot. I think it's fine. Uh, I'm you know I'm. I'm a pretty pretty big risk taker when it comes to fragrances, you know, and I don't mind if people think I'm wearing a perfume, if what you know, and whatnot. Um, let's see here. It's a tiny, just a tiny little bit metallic. Don't know if that's supposed to, if maybe the that's what the box is silver for or something. I don't know. Um, who knows? But it's just a tiny bit metallic. It's not again, not listening to notes. Haven't heard anybody say that, but that's just what my nose told me. Just a slightly bit, um, and it's like. 
again, white, peppery, spicy. Like, it, it smells like there's white pepper in this, but there isn't. Um, and again, like, there's the white bottle, which I'm assuming is just for the cooling effect. But, you know, it's just, you know, there's all, like, all these, like, hidden... My brain's telling me that this is in there because I've smelt it before, but it's not in there. It's not listed in the notes. So I don't know. Uh, again, that's why it's very confusing. Uh, about After about 30 to 45 minutes, it calms down quite a bit. And really, uh, vanilla and orange are really the mainstay. Um, but, you know, it's funny. Again, with the confusing part, there is, like, leather. I smell leather in it, a slight leather, not like a strong, strong leather. But I smell it in there, and... It's weird. I don't know. It's it's you know it's it, it maybe it, obviously it's a combination of the of the smells or of the notes together that are making this happen. But you know, um, it's also um, yeah. So it's spicy and leathery. And again, like I don't know where that leather comes from. It's just maybe it's just my nose. Maybe it's my skin. I don't know. But I smell it in there. Uh, and that's why this stuff is so like uh, it's confusing and it's like complicated. Even though it's just three notes. So, I, I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, and, well, the uh, the remainder of the time, it's just vanilla, orange, and a little bit of leathery and powder. It's very powdery. Uh, so, if you don't like powder, um, you might want to stay away from this one. Uh, this isn't for everybody, okay? Like, let me tell you. Like, you, you might want to sample this one before you buy it. I'm not going to tell you to go ahead and buy this one. I don't recommend anybody buying anything that I re uh, really recommend unless you've smelled it before. Because that's not really being fair to, to, to anyway. I mean, I'd hate to recommend something and you don't like it. So I need to start putting disclaimers on my videos that, you know, hey, buy at your own risk. You know, this is just my recommendation. This is my nose, my taste, and my uh, preferences. So um, sorry if you guys bought some some fragrances that I uh, have, have put videos on and you've been let down or anything. So I apologize if you have. But, you know, I would say this one, you might want to try it first. Um, and it smells nothing, nothing like Fahrenheit. Don't even expect, I don't even know why they call it Fahrenheit. I was trying to think of a name before I did the video, before I started this video, uh, just to come up with another name that I could have named it. And I haven't, I couldn't come up with anything. I, it maybe had to brainstorm a little bit longer. But this, the only thing I can come up with is, it's, okay, it's, it's a little obvious now, I guess, but... You know, it's cool, it's cooling, and I guess Fahrenheit uh, is supposed to be hot and it reminds you of the heat and of uh, gasoline and fire or whatnot because of the red bottle. So this is going to be the opposite. You know, this is going to be the opposite end of the spectrum, which would be a white bottle and it has a cooling effect, um, hence the, the, the peppermint I was talking about. So, I mean, I get that, but I think they could have made this probably a different name, but, you know, I understand, you know, you want to... You want to make the money off the fragrance, so you got to use your uh, popular uh, your pro popular name, which would be Fahrenheit. It's one of the biggest flankers, I guess, um, almost anyway from the from the Dior house. So, um, you know, I would I would say, uh, you know, uh, my rating for this one, I'm going to give the scent. Uh, personally, I like it. I'm going to say it's an eight out of ten. It's uh, it's orangey, sweet, spicy, vanilla-y, and powdery. Um, all good combinations that I like in my fragrances. Uh, I'm a powdery, fresh, sweet kind of guy when it comes to the fragrances that I like. Um, way more than, uh, than woody. I look at my collection now and I have a lot more, uh, of these sweet powdery scents, uh, than I do of like woodsy scents or, uh, sporty scents or whatnot, you know. Um, also it's winter, so that's probably why. Uh, the Siage, I'm going to give an 8 out of 10. This stuff, uh, leaves a good little scent bubble behind you. And it, uh, you know, it, it smells different on, on you than it does in the air. You know, once it mixes with the air and you catch a whiff of this stuff, it smells completely different than it does on your skin. So, uh, I think people might might be in for a treat when they smell this stuff when you walk by. Uh, the longevity, nine out of ten. The stuff easily lasts eight hours, if not longer than that. Uh, so it's not beast mode, but it's 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 for for a bit being a designer, uh, and not a niche. Um, uh, this stuff is still pretty good. Uh, let's see the versatility. Uh, 8 out of 10, because, you know, it can go either way. Uh, maybe even 9 out of 10, actually. Uh, you can wear this stuff, I say any season, because it's cooling, so in the heat, uh, you can wear it to kind of have this cooling, cool-down effect from the heat of the day. Uh, I would go easy on the trigger with it, though, because it, 
probably could get a little uh, a little cloying and a little intrusive to other people around you if you if you uh, spray too much of this stuff because it's pretty strong. Uh, winter time, I mean, it has like that powder, spicy, warm coziness to it, like a lot of these other winter fragrances do. So I think it works good in, in all weathers, actually, or all weather. I mean, all seasons. Um, uh, overall, I'm going to give it a nine out of ten uh, because uh, personally, for my my, my uh, personal preferences, I'm going to give it a nine out of ten just because uh, I was pleasantly surprised by it. Uh, it lasts a long time. Um, I can wear it on any occasion. It smells uh, classy, yet it smells casual. Uh, you can wear this stuff with a t-shirt and jeans. You can also wear it with a suit and tie. Um, you know, it's just a good fragrance. You know, it's just a good fragrance. But again, try it first. I'm not, do not blind buy this stuff, okay? You have to try it first because you might not like it. Uh, I just happen to like it. So, um, Anyway, so that's Fahrenheit 32, I believe uh, that's all of it here. Yeah, it's Fahrenheit 32 by Christian Dior. And, uh, you know, uh, thanks you guys for all subscribing and for watching my videos uh, and for uh, um, just, you know, uh, commenting and everything like that. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Oh, and uh, one more thing. This stuff is not cheap. You know, it's been out since 2007, and the cheapest I could find it, I think, on Amazon was still like 60 bucks. For a 3.4, you can probably go with a smaller bottle for maybe 40 or something. I, I forgot to write that down. Uh, but, you know, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can pick up a bottle if you'd like some. I'll try to find the lowest price. But, yeah, this stuff isn't cheap. I think this 3.4 ounce at the mall was like 80 bucks. Um, that's where I saw how much the price was. I got mine discounted uh, online. But I'll, I'll send you the link where... Uh, where you can find one of your own if you'd like to try it. But hey, I would say go to the mall and try this stuff first. And, you know, uh, sample it first and wear it for a while. And uh, anyway, so rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me what you think about this stuff. Tell me if you love it. Tell me if you hate it. Tell me, uh, give me some suggestions on some other stuff I should try. Um, tell your friends. Share my stuff, my, my, my uh, videos. And, uh, yeah, so you guys have a Merry Christmas. I might do a... Uh, I might do another video before Christmas. I'll have a few days off of work. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So I did actually just pick up some Dior Ohm. I have some Dior Ohm Intense. And uh, I've been, um, you know, I bought the Intense first because I've been hearing so much about it. Uh, yes, I bought into the hype. And I actually love that fragrance. It's also from the Dior house. And uh, I went ahead and picked up the original because I wanted to, I heard it's good for the day. So uh, I tried it, you know, I, I sampled it first and it, it, uh, without getting in too much of a description, because I'm going to save that for another video, uh, but uh, I did like it, you know, and it, it smells like it, but it's just toned down, brighter and toned down. Uh, anyway, so I got the uh, Dior Ohm that I'm going to do a review on soon. Maybe I'll do that one for you guys before Christmas. Um, so anyway, um, you guys take care of yourselves, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.